the ECN has finalized the recruitment of returning officers in all 121 constituencies and 57 local authorities to preside over the nomination process which started on Monday. So far, more than 20 new applications of political formations are intending to participate in the election scheduled for the 25th of November this year. In addition, approximately 150,000 voters were captured during the recent supplementary registration of voters. This figure includes new voters who relocated to new constituencies, sought duplicate voters card and those with new residential addresses. About 70,000 would-be first-time voters were registered. It's important that uh, you complete your nomination process because as soon as you do that, uh, which in terms of our calendar will be completed on the 16th of October 2020, we would then know which political parties are contesting in which constituencies. We would know uh, where are the independent candidates contesting the regional council elections. We would also then know which political parties or associations will be contesting which local authorities. And once we complete that particular process, we would then have a basis to move into the next phase to, of uh, designing and developing sample ballot papers. Meanwhile, Muyoro also reminded political parties, associations, independent candidates and registered voters to lodge their objections of any unlawful inclusion of voters during the supplementary registration process and are free to lodge objections. The provisional voters' role will be on display countrywide starting tomorrow. We received reports from our managers from some constituencies and some local authorities. There were reports uh, that uh, people believed that uh, uh, some people that we registered are people who do not live in particular towns or constituencies. Without giving any specifics, I just want to place it on record that the law provides for an opportunity for an objections period. As I'm indicating here, this period starts tomorrow, the 30th of September 2020. It runs until the 5th of October 2020. People must go and inspect the provincial voters registers for the, for, for the reasons that I have stated, so that they can verify the correctness of details. And if they so wish, if they, if they have sufficient grounds to believe that some people were registered unlawfully, they must take down their details and uh, take them to their respective magistrates in those particular regions or constituencies. Furthermore, the verification and approval of ballot paper samples by political parties, associations or independent candidates will only start after the nomination process.